We've got Super Unai Emery. Hello and welcome to our player ratings episode for Southampton nil, Aston Villa 1. I am still absolutely buzzing uh, with another three points, with another away victory. Uh, climb, you know, not climbing the table, but we, you know, getting there. We were uh, drawing the teams above us in um, and we are sort of trying to get to that place that we need to be. So absolutely buzzing Villa fans. So let's head over then to our website, um, and we shall give the Aston Villa players our ratings. This is our website. Uh, we do match reports, fan reports, opposition pieces, um, you name it. We do it on this website, not just the podcast. So you can head over there and sort of get your teeth into articles, have a cuppa, have a coffee, have a good little read. Um, so we do player ratings as well. Um, but you want to go under the uh, social hub, uh, player ratings section where you can drop your player ratings for the games. Uh, on the right hand side are the average ratings for the players uh, that Villa fans have given, and then this is where we sort of input ours. So I'm going to go Emmy Martinez, solid eight. I thought he made some brilliant, brilliant saves. Um, one thing that I will say about uh, Emmy Martinez is that I feel like his presence has evolved under Unai Emery. I think he's really commanding his area and he's. he's He's like the, the three quarters of the pitch that he's got. Uh, he's acting as a sweeper keeper. He's, he's, he's coming off his line, heading stuff. Um, his first response is to come out uh, when we're playing with the high line. So, Emmy Martinez has really come on even more so under Unai Emery. Ashley Young, I'm going to go with a solid seven. I thought he had a really good game again. Solid, determined, uh, was, was, you know, in the face of the wingers for the opposition. So, I felt like... He had a really good game. Uh, Moreno, I'll say the same. Um, I think he was good going forward. Um, you know, he's, he's lightning quick. Um, just needs to be a little bit stronger in the tackle at times. Um, but I feel like he will get there. So I'm going to give Moreno a seven as well. Ezri Konsa and Tyrone Mings both get an eight for me. I think when we say they're back to their best, I think they're better than what we've seen. They're so dominant now. Um, they're really playing with an organisation. Uh, they're brilliant at defending that line. Uh, we know that they're celebrating, you know, offsides as well because that's um, something that they're really, really working on. So absolutely fantastic on that front. Um, and they're just so dominant. And and the, you know, to get another clean sheet, um, to look really untroubled at times, to be playing with the ball at their feet as well. Concerts come on so much as well with the ball at his feet. So. Both of them, for me, get a solid eight. Kamara, I'm going to go with an eight as well. Um, I felt like he had a really good game. He absolutely ran midfield. And Dougie Louise gets an eight as well because the two together, you know, they're both dominating the midfield battle. We were winning the second balls. And what I'd like to say about this team as well is we're not giving the opposition hardly any seconds on the ball. As soon as they've got the ball, we press and we're at them and it's really good to see that when we lose the ball, we try and win it back quickly. And, you know, that is, oh, I love it. Absolutely love it, Villa fans. So we've got a fully functioning central midfield too. Um, and I, I just thought they were both really good. And Dougie Louise, beautiful ball into Wally Watkins. Buendia, I'm going to go with a seven. I think we're starting now to see the best out of Buendia. We're starting to see him sort of, off the ball, do some really good stuff. Um, and when I like to give the player ratings as well, it's not just what they do with the ball, it's what they do off it. Um, and he was in all the right areas. He was getting stuck in. He looked stronger. He look, He looks like he's got a bit more muscle on him now. Second half, that period where we're on top, he really wanted the ball. He was, he was searching for the ball. He was just saying, give me the ball. And he was getting the ball and he was putting those through balls through as well. So, I think Brendia had a really good game, second half. We're starting to see consistent numbers from Brendia now. He's starting to hit those sevens, so really, really good stuff from Brendia. Ramsey, I'm going to give a seven as well. I don't think he's quite there yet. I think he's still trying to get to his level, uh, but, you know, he was still good. He was still driving us forward. He had some really nice touches. Uh, he was fouled for their goal that was given uh, for the VAR. 
uh, second half he was driving forward as well. So I think I think he's getting there. He's not quite there yet, but again, it was a solid performance from Ramsey. Bailey, I'm going to give a seven as well. Off the ball, he was working hard for the team. On the ball, he was shown for it. He was. It was just a, a Bailey performance, wasn't it? He was. It was what he offers. He offers a threat uh, going forward on the right hand side, um, and I just wish he. Buried that chance he had with his right foot. For me, it felt like he was caught in between. Do I shoot? Do I cross? Can I get it on my left foot? I'm stuck on my right foot. And it was a tame effort. But again, for the team, he worked really, really hard. And um, yeah, I think they all deserve deserve sevens for me. Ollie Watkins was my man of the match. I'm going to give him a nine. I think he really led the line really, really well. Um, his goal was absolutely brilliant. A, a striker's... Finish, clinical, one chance, bang, goal. Uh, like I say, led the line really well. He was he was holding the ball up well. He always looked to threat for Aston Villa against Southampton. Coutinho, when he came on again, changed it. He, um, he came on against Leeds and I felt like he kept, got us ticking going forward. And again, against uh, Southampton, I felt like he did the same. He kept us on the front foot. Again, another one that who, who wants the ball. And what we're starting to see under these Unai Emery sides is Every Villa player wants the ball, and that is really, really good. Cash, I'll go with a seven, and then Donka, I'll go. I'll give him a seven. I'll give then Donka a seven as well. So those are my player ratings, Villa fans. Um, a happy, happy player ratings again. Uh, I'm absolutely loving watching Villa. I had a brilliant, brilliant weekend in Southampton. It was class. Um, the Villa fans were absolutely brilliant. Um, we had a nice little curry as well. That was nice. Uh, and in the concourse before the game, that was class and it was noisy. Shout out to Nigel on the red wine in the concourse as well. Um, but it was just brilliant. It was just a brilliant, brilliant away performance. You know, we was calm. It was at ease. We were just doing what we do now away from home. And it's just so good to see. So, so good. And um, I absolutely loved it, Villa fans. And I just love watching us at the minute. I love what we are. I love what we're about. I love what we're building. And Villa fans, if you've got this far in the video, drop us a subscribe. I mean, you know, you help the channel out if you subscribe. Get on this journey with us. Drop your player ratings. Drop a like. Comment away. We create the content for you to enjoy. So, you know, we create so much. We do all the stuff on the website. So, if you do want to support us, subscribe. Um, and, yeah, I'm absolutely loving life as a Villa fan right now. So, long may it continue. Up the Emery. Up the Villa. Up the three points.